he came up with the concept of the Disneyland television show. Um, again, people at the studio now also had to kind of pitch in and, and take care of, of servicing that entity by doing original programming. A lot of that early programming, and I can always remember when they went, when they go to Adventureland, then it would be a true life adventure, which were the 60 millimeter true life adventures that had been shot, uh, especially I think by early 50s, so that you'd see those on television. The other thing that I, I do recall my father talking about was very soon after Disneyland started airing, um, it was Walt's idea that he should be shooting this, uh, the original programming for it in color, even though color was not really here, hadn't really arrived. I think it was what, early six, late 50s, early 60s before you know, consumer color televisions became available. And, uh, but that was an example of Walt Disney. I mean, the guy in, was a visionary as well as so many other things. I mean, his whole idea of Epcot, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow, and, and the idea of a monorail. And it wasn't his idea to have a monorail, but he saw a monorail sort of as, a, as a way of having mass transit. And at times, I, I've heard that he, he wanted to get into the mass transit business, I think in Houston and, and, or, or Portland, or maybe both of them flirted with that as, a, as an idea.